Are you guys ready to find out my highest sale ever? We're gonna be talking about that and the other good sales I made this week. Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen and I'm the Restless Thrifter. Sorry about all the piles and piles of stuff in the back. This is stuff to list, you know how it is. It just gets piled. This is all the way from the floor. <laughs> There's some bins and then it's just sitting on top. If you are just stopping by my channel for the first time, thank you for dropping in. I'm gonna be sharing my best sales with you. Things that I sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari either really quickly or for what I consider to be a good profit. My profit ranges all over the place. What I sell now ranges all over the place. I will pretty much list anything if I feel like it'll make a profit or if I'm gonna learn something from that category. I haven't found what I would consider my niche, although I do pick up a lot of plus size clothing. So I guess if you could say I have a niche, that is it. But you'll see from my sales, it's all over the place. And like I mentioned, it's one of the best sales ever. Actually, no, not one of, the actual highest sale and profit I've ever made on a single item. So let's get started. I'm gonna share with you 10 things this time. There were enough sales this week that I'm gonna share 10 of my top sales, plus another eight things that sold in less than a week and one lesson learned. There's always a lesson in every single thing, but I'm gonna call one of them a lesson because it was a poor sale. All right, the first item in the top 10 are these Crocs size eight sneakers, Citalane Roca, it's the name of the brand. I'm um, No, not the brand, that's the name of the style. Court shoes, tan, waterproof, 204884 slip-on. So that was the style number that I included in there. And I include all the keywords. I'm just gonna read the titles for you so you know what my keywords are. These sold in five days on Mercari. I got them at a local thrift store called Thrift City. These sold through a customer offer of $26 on Mercari. I had paid $6.48 and my profit, which is after the cost of goods and marketplace fees are taken out, was $15.43. Andy, go away, you're annoying. My dad is out of town and so we are dog sitting his dogs and they are small dogs. And I think that small dogs will die without human touch. You're not gonna die. Anyway, any noises you hear, it's a small dog named Andy. Uh, the next sale is an exclusively Missook size extra large pants, pull on slinky high rise, wide leg vintage black. Exclusively, uh, exclusively Missook is a higher end brand. These were vintage. They were that slinky material that Chico's is often known for in its traveler's collection. When you're selling pull-on pants or anything with elastic when it's vintage or otherwise, check the elastic. So pull on it and make sure it doesn't make that sound or feel like it's been completely shot, like if it's not stretchy at all. Um, these were fine. They sold after a year and a half. Did take a while, and I find that with vintage items, often it's going to take a little bit longer to find the right buyer. These sold on eBay for $21.60, plus the cost of shipping. I'm breaking it out for you now so that the, the sales price that I'm telling you is not including the shipping. So I say plus shipping because I'm not adding them together like I was before. Um, my cost of goods was 86 cents. I got these at a thrift store in Denton and my profit was $18.27. Not sure I would pick up those again simply because they took a long time. Uh, next sale, J. Crew size medium leggings, new weekend high rise, Seven eighths signature flex navy blue. Seven eighths is the length of these leggings. Those are the more popular length, that full length. That's something else you could say is full length. I just put seven eighths because that is what um, is on the, the tag. Uh, these were brand new. These took five and a half months to sell on eBay. 
They sold for $24 plus shipping through an offer. I had paid $1.37. I actually got these in a Goodwill blue box. If you don't know, they have these boxes, they call them blue boxes, that you can buy full of mystery items. You can pick a category, and I think this was just like the general clothing category. The higher end ones, they're not high end, but the box costs more than the lower end ones. And my average cost per item in that box was $1.37. My profit was $18.30. So this was a good item to get in that box. These are $70 retail leggings, new with tags from J. Crew. Next sale is an Olga Vintage 60s, size 36, secret hug nightgown, black lace, full length, made in USA. I love selling vintage nightgowns. I have slowed down on it. That's not to say that I don't have about 30 in my death pile to list, but I'm waiting until these gain popularity again. This took a year and a half to sell. This was a gorgeous nightgown. It sold through promoted listings in eBay, which means that I pay a little bit extra in fees to have this promoted and show up first on search results, like higher up in the search results. It sold for $30 plus shipping through an offer. And I had this listed a lot higher because I thought it was worth about $75 and nobody else did. So something's only worth what it'll sell for. And I had paid 89 cents. I don't know where I got this. Uh, I've since forgotten and I didn't write it down, but my profit was $19.12, which is perfectly respectable. I hope that whoever purchased it is happy with it because it was a beautiful gown. Next is a Sam Edelman size eight Molina heeled boots, suede studded Raven bird spike gym, three and a half inch. Um, these were gorgeous and these were super, super cool. I don't pick up all Sam Edelman anymore. I used to, but I do pick up the more unique things and these were really cool. Um, they did have a lot of studs and spikes and gems all over them. And they sold in two weeks on Poshmark through a Posher VA offer. So Posher VA is a Chrome extension that you can sign up for. There is a monthly cost. You can get a discount and I get a little something if you use my code that's in my description. I use it for sharing my Poshmark closet. It automatically shares as well as sending offers. It does a whole lot of things, but those are the things I use it for. I think I also use it to follow people and um, share other people's things as well. Um, I have it set up to send a 15% off offer with discounted shipping about, I don't know, 10 minutes after somebody likes an item. I've played with the settings on that, but that's where I am right now. And it sold for um, $59. I had actually paid up for these. I paid $25 because they were really cool. I just knew they would sell for a little bit more. So my profit was $19.22. Next in the top 10, Abercrombie and Fitch, size 32 slash 14 L jeans, curve love, ankle straight, ultra high rise. A lot of things going for these. They were a little bit of a larger size, more mid, mid size, um, with that size 32. They were the curve love style so that they're a more curvy fit. They have the straight leg and they were high rise. That's a lot of good things in a pair of jeans right now. Two and a half weeks to sell on Poshmark through a customer offer of $30. I had paid $3.78. I got these at a Salvation Army. Um, in Louisville. I love that store. They do have a 50% off sale of clothing every Wednesday and it's flooded with people. Um, I think a lot of resellers and, and as well as just a lot of shoppers. The profit on those was $20.22 and that reminds me that I need to get the denim ones. I have just a blue denim. Uh, these were black. I have just a blue denim pair that needs to be listed. Um, but I have them in a pile to wash. Next, Gun Fun Chubbs Musical Christmas Penguin sings Feliz Navidad Spanish Tag Tested. Tag just means he has his tag included. I don't call him new because he's definitely pre-owned, but he was in great condition 
He was adorable when he sang. I included a link to a video where I posted on YouTube. I have like a, a demo channel where I um, will video any toys like this or anything that would work better with a video. And I'll include a link to that. And this sold in 10 months on eBay for full price, $28 plus shipping. And um, I had paid $1.08 for this. Did I say where I got it? I got it at a place called American Council for the Blind. It's a thrift store in Amarillo, Texas. Um, I, I would stop there whenever I was going back and forth between Denver and the Dallas area before I moved back. My profit was $21.78. Fun seasonal sale. Next is a personal item. This was a purse that I carried a few times, but every time I did, it would frustrate me because it had this huge metal ring, which was really cool looking, but it would slam against things. I guess I am just clumsy. Well, I know I'm clumsy. And so I just never used it very much, but it was really cool looking. It was this beautiful, dark, dark purple. It was a Sequoia dark purple suede fringe crossbody bag purse, chunky silver hardware boho. I loved it, but it just wasn't practical and I'm a practical person. It sold in one and a half months on Poshmark through a Posher VA offer as well for 15% off of my list price. And it sold for $41. I put $0 as my cost of goods because it was a personal item. I My profit was $30.78. Next to last in the top 10, Birkenstock size 39 women's US eight, eight and a half sandals, Mayari, Mayari. Burko Floor Fabric Stone Tan. I keep finding Birkenstocks listed low in thrift stores. I don't know what's going on. This is like the third pair I've found where they didn't have them priced very high at all. My cost of goods for this was $4.32. They looked practically new. They sold in four days on Poshmark through a Posher VA offer. And I'm telling you, this, this service pays for itself basically. I did have it listed on eBay for less without offers on, but it sold on Poshmark for a little bit more for $51 and my profit was $33.42. Now these are only $99 retail, I say only, because they are not the leather kind of Birkenstock. They are called Birkaflor. It looks like suede, but it is not. And this is for, you know, vegan, folks or people who just don't like to wear leather or people who just find these more comfortable. And I'm thinking that maybe this thrift store didn't realize these were Birkenstocks because they weren't leather. And this store that I got them from, Super Thrift City, again, in Louisville, they usually mark up things that are higher dollars. So either they don't find Birkenstocks to be very valuable, but people online still do. Okay, y'all ready for my best sell this week? my best sale ever, ever. And I've been doing this three years. Yeah, three years. It's this Guinness Toucan. Guinness Beer Toucan statue with drawer, carved wood, large, rare, and hard to find. This guy was just sitting on a shelf at the Goodwill and I saw him, he was only like $8 and I didn't really know what it was. I didn't really know what I had. I couldn't really find it when I was looking for comps, but I went ahead and picked it up and I'm glad I did. I did finally find that there was another sold for $380 um, through an auction on eBay. So that's what I was hoping to get. I did not get that much, but I did get $305 plus shipping. So I was, Definitely pleased with that. I'm looking to find the other details. Sold in five days because it was a five day auction on eBay. And I had paid $9.73, that was including the cost of tax. And my profit was $248.18, which is great. I know you guys, a lot of you have had way higher sales than this. I do not find this type of stuff frequently. Um, I'm working on it. I'm learning and learning what to look for. But this item was really awesome. Apparently 
You can't just go out and buy one of these. Um, uh, the pictures that I saw were mostly of people who had posted pictures on Facebook or other social media from a bar that they were in. Like I'm having a beer and I take a picture of the, the Guinness toucan, which did you guys know that the toucan was like a mascot for Guinness? I, I had no idea until I found this guy. So he was super cool. All right, so that's everything in the top 10. I do have eight more sales that were fast flips. So anything that sold in a month or less. The first one is this US military general purpose first aid kit. And then there's a long number, some sort of government ID type number. Uh, full contents. This sold in four weeks on eBay. This had belonged to my husband. He was in the Marine Corps Reserves and this was his first aid kit. It sold um, through promoted listings, um, but it did sell full price. I listed it without offers turned on for $24.96 plus shipping. And I put zero as my cost of goods because it was my husband's and my profit was $15.18. Next, Bath & Body Works Midsummer Dream Fine Fragrance Mist Body Spray Perfume, 75%. 75% full is what that meant. And I explained that in the description. This sold in four weeks on eBay. And I know they say you can't sell used fragrances on eBay, but there is a category. So I don't know why else there would be a category and why else you could say um, pre-owned. But... Uh, maybe I'm going to get in trouble for trying to do this. I've never done it before, but I sold this full price sale of only $8.96. So probably not worth a risk really. Plus shipping. I paid a dollar at a garage sale and my profit was $5.65. It's really not worth the risk guys. <laughs> so don't do what I do. Um, next time I pick up something like that, I should make sure first of all, it's going to be worth a little bit more and also just sell it on like Mercari, which I think is never an issue for pre-owned fragrances. Next fast flip, set of four vinyl Santa Claus placemats, vintage Christmas face cutout, 13 and a half inch by 14 inch. This sold in two weeks on Poshmark. It's a full price sale and it sold for $20. Very cute vintage placemats. I had paid $2 for these at a um, garage sale. It was actually an estate sale, but it was a family run estate sale. So my profit was $14. Next, Harley Davidson floor mats, Willie G Skull, universal fit front set of two mats, USA. These sold in two weeks as well on eBay for... Um, only $15.99 plus shipping. These were not in the greatest condition. What's stinging? Oh, oh my gosh. Y'all, my dad is on a trip with his sister and they went down to South Padre area and he was driving on the beach and got stuck. This big old truck got stuck in the sand. And then the tow truck that came to get them broke down. <laughs> it broke. He said it broke. I don't know what that means. So another tow, tow truck was on its way. It's already up to $500 at this point. And then he gets a ticket. Police gave him a ticket for driving his truck in the soft sand and for getting stuck. So I'm like, you know, this guy's already kind of paying the price for it. You really want to give him a ticket on top of it? So they're out of the sand and free from the beach. Oh boy. So I picked these up at the bins, at the Goodwill bins. I would not have picked up something in this condition. Otherwise they were a bit dirty. I thought, oh, I'll just clean them up and they'll look real great. Well, they looked fine. They didn't look great. And so I was like, let me just sell these. Let me just get rid of them. So I list them for $15.99. They did sell through promoted listings and an offer. That was what they offered me. Um, I paid $2. That was my average cost of goods at the bins that day. My profit was $13.71. Now they did sell quickly and these are something that are $60 retail. So I would say if you can find something like this in good condition, they're worth picking up and selling. But I had to sell mine a little low because they were, you know, some of the little nubby things on the underside were broken off and there were some visible scratches and where it, you know, it could have been better. And I also held on to them for a long time because I didn't, 
It's like, oh, I'll just clean them up. No, I didn't want to. Next is a set of yellow floral king percale sheet, vintage, oh, sheet set, vintage MCM Montgomery Ward roses, daisies, soft, beautiful, beautiful yellow. I loved the print. I loved the color. I loved everything about these. I would have put them on my own bed, but my husband's like, mm, no, <laughs> please no. These sold in one and a half weeks on eBay um, through promoted listings and an offer of $20 plus shipping. I had paid $5 at the Goodwill and my uh, profit was $7.05. Next, Playmate Mini Igloo Cooler, four quart, six can capacity, black, new, and it has the style number, um, swivel lid. This sold in one and a half weeks on eBay through promoted listings, but it was a full price sale of $15.96 plus shipping. And I had paid $5. My profit was $4.67. Not a lot of profit there, but I would say I would pick these up if you can get them for less than $5 and they're in great condition. It sold super quick. It, it, it doesn't have to be new to sell quickly. And it was really easy to ship if you've got the right size box. So all in all, I will still sell something like this, just knowing it's not a great profit, but they do sell pretty quickly. Okay, two more in the fast flips category. Big Hero 6 Baymax Head Mug with Inside Emoji Ceramic Disney Coffee Lover Gift. I saw this and I knew it was Disney, but I didn't know what movie. Um, and it's B Big Hero 6, which I remember the movie now. Uh, I went back and watched it. I was like, oh yeah, I have seen this. Cute shape and everything. It sold in four days on Poshmark through a customer offer of $17. And I had paid $3.15. My profit was $10.45. Next and the last of the fast flips, Mar Maurice's size 16W jeans, high rise ankle length, raw distressed hem acid wash. Sold in two weeks on eBay through promoted listings and a customer offer of $10. If these hadn't been my own jeans of $0, I wouldn't have picked them up to resell. Um, maybe if brand new, I will pick up plus size Maurice's clothing to sell, especially if it's brand new or a particularly unique item. Um, but otherwise, Maurice's is just okay. Um, and not going to bring you a lot of money. Um, after, um, fees and everything, my profit was $5 and 74 cents, but they sell pretty quickly. If you can get nice Maurice's plus size clothing, they can sell quickly. Okay. And then what I'm calling my lesson learned, I learned about this brand Gabor, Gabor, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Gabor Hovercraft size UK six, US eight and a half, EU 39, ballet flat leather with patent toe shoe. These took two years to sell the second time. The first time they sold fairly quickly on eBay and then they were returned for fit. Um, the second time it took them a long time to sell. They sold for 1440 plus shipping. This is a higher end brand of comfort shoe. My lesson, and this was obviously I picked them up a long time ago, um, I was looking at retail price a lot of times and not looking up the sales price or I would see that the sales price was could be good, but I wasn't looking at sell-through rate. I checked sell-through rate on this brand and it's 8%. So it's pretty low and that's um, taking um, sell-through rate out of Terapeak, which uh, takes into account how much is listed. So the maximum a sell-through rate can be is 100%. And so even then, 8% is pretty low. And so it makes sense that they took so long to sell. My profit was only $2.27 because I had paid $9.78. So I think we can see the lesson. I paid too much. This brand is not well known enough to resell quickly uh, or sought after enough. It is a good brand. So you know, if you can find them brand new for cheap and you don't mind sitting on them for two years, maybe pick them up. Otherwise, eh, I don't know. Keep checking to see if they've gotten a better sell-through rate. Have you even heard of the brand 
It's G-A-B-O-R. I had not heard of them before, but they are expensive retail. $135 for this pair of shoes. All right, so the highlights of this, I had 31 sales um, this week. My average profit per item was $19.64. Not too bad. Pretty decent week of 13 fast flips, 13 sales over $20, and my highest profit sale ever. But y'all, I hope that you are making Q for your bitch. And just keep listing. What is that? Die, 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 die. I think he died.